Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Lisette and this is um, a video in coordinates and a series of my braces journey. So if you're interested on learning about braces as an adult and all that, then I suggest watching my other two videos where um, I give you guys a little bit more information. Uh, this is now just my third update, I believe. So if you haven't seen the other ones, they will be linked down below. But welcome guys, and um, in today's video, I will be updating you guys on my braces because I do have uh, some updates for you guys. I, like I mentioned in my last video, I wasn't gonna do one if nothing had really changed this month. And I just went to my ortho like two weeks ago and there was some changes, shockingly. Um, I wasn't prepared for what had happened, but I was happy. <laughs> so in this video, I will, I will be telling you guys those small changes, two, three small changes, but still pretty major changes um, as far as my teeth shifting and my journey progressing. So if you are interested, then just keep watching. <laughs> Also, isn't my little avocado so cute in the back? I got this at Walmart a few years ago, and on the little tag on the side, it says Let's Avocado. It is the cutest thing. I love, I'm obsessed with avocados. Anything avocado, I love. <coughs> but, oh, and if I sound a little stuffy, guys, I'm getting over a cold, so just let's just dismiss that, you know? Um, let me update let me kind of summarize what has been going on so uh for those who are kind of new i'm just gonna give like a brief a brief background story a brief summarize of my braces and all that so i got braces back in august of this year uh so i've been in treatment august september october november like four months already oh my god four months four months um i go to uh dr neil in oakbrook he's really 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 good i love his staff and everyone there uh, so this will be so I went I think for my first uh, Checkup like I go monthly I go once a month. So I went in September then October and I just Went like two weeks ago for my November one And I'm not gonna go until January. I think like January 5th I think I'm not 100% sure I forgot but that will be my um, next update so I am 24 about to be 25 in a few months and I had braces back when I was a teen so but I never got my bottom braces and my bottom braces my bottom teeth have were in insecurity of mine so now that I'm a little bit older that was one of my goals was that I would fix my smile when I got older so thus here we are so that's a, a brief little summary on that so in last video um, I had told you guys I not a lot had changed but a little bit so I did get tighter bands um, I think I was like at level three and then half of my bottom teeth so when I first started like I am not uh, I didn't go to dental school or anything like that so I am not familiar with a lot of terms so if you are like a dental student or know a lot about like ortho treatment and all that and I'm butchering or saying all these terms wrong i'm sorry okay i'm a regular 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 person but i had these little like um so my bottom teeth <clears throat> my bottom teeth like i said were pretty crooked well not that bad it had just two my canines i believe they're called they were just like this is how they were really <laughs> and so i had like a special like wire it looked like i wish i could like draw it for you guys let me see demo so i had a straight wire right so it went like that and then i had a wire that was like like a spring almost that's the word i was looking for a spring you know like mattress springs and just like those kinds of springs that's what it looked like so it was like like oh shit. like that so it went straight like my my bottom wire was straight and then i had like a little spring that was like that well i had two so it went straight, the little spring, straight, and then the little spring. Um, I think I showed that on the first video. And then on my second video, I mentioned how one half, so my left side, was taken off. That like spring looking thing was removed and um, I was able to use like a straight wire. So I was able to use a straight wire on that side. 
um but on this side one of like my right side the, my bottom right canine would not shift like it was still like it had shifted like a little bit but i guess not as much as like the or like the doctor wanted it to or like as much as the left side had i don't know um but point is this right side was left on like that little spring thing um but my left side was taken off so now this last time that i went both of them are now officially gone so i officially have straight wires going on my top teeth and my bottom teeth so let me show you guys a little bit what it looks like oh you see this top wire okay it goes straight and now my bottom wire also goes straight so if you have seen my other videos you'll see that i embarrass myself and i kind of zoom in as well <laughs> i zoom in so you guys can see like what i'm talking about so So on my last video, this side had the spring looking thing. And then my first video, this side and this side <coughs> both had it. So now, I officially have straight wires going across my teeth, guys. I officially have left those. I'm assuming it's a good thing. Look, like I said, I'm not in the dental industry. I don't know much, but... I'm assuming that's a good sign. I'm assuming those were put to like help my teeth shift more. Another thing that I don't think I have even mentioned at all in my videos was my initial consultation and throughout like my visits. The doctor that has mentioned that if my teeth don't really shift as much as he would want to or they take a little bit um, longer. Okay, I don't really know what he's going to do. But the way he explained it is that he's basically basically going to like drill or like saw in between my bottom teeth so there's gonna be like gaps so then my teeth can like straighten i don't know like i said i'm not 100 percent sure but based on how he's describing he's basically gonna like dr not not drill saw like i don't know like just make gaps in between my bottom teeth um that i mean that's what he said so like i don't really know we'll get there when we cross that bridge okay so i'll explain to you guys more when he does do that if it's necessary and i'll kind of ask him to you know what guys i'm actually gonna start asking more questions so i can better explain to you guys but anyway besides besides that um another thing oh my gosh hey guys so another update which uh, i always get so scared which i thought last visit that was it like no more of this <coughs> but so yeah know how i mentioned my last up update that i had gotten a more wrist more tighter band well apparently there's even tighter than that which i didn't even know so now i'm up to the ram so let me let me show you guys so my first i think when i yes when i first got them done i had to wear bands he was gonna tell me that from the very beginning so when i first got them done you know he started me off with the owl i was with the owl which these i mean they weren't really that tight honestly then on my first visit like in september he's put me up to the fox okay these were these were a little tight i felt it i was like mm, okay then in october yes in october he bumped me up to the bear these were tight oh my gosh and then okay so and then the first time that i had them done i had to wear the bear like i said and i only had to wear them in the back on my right side the very back um because one of my molars was um not aligned with the rest of my bottom teeth so my molar was pushed back so he wanted to bring it forward so that's why he had me wear rubber bands just in the back so just on one side then when i went in september and he moved me up to the fox i believe yes when he moved me up to the fox that's when he told me i had to wear it in the back and two in the front um i show you guys that in my last video and then when i went in october and i went up to the fox right no when i went up to the bear again i had to keep wearing it in the back and two in the front this last time that i went I was bumped up again to an even more tighter band uh, with the ram, like I said, and again, I have to wear it in the back and to in the front. Like I, um, I still have to only wear it um, at night, so I don't have to worry about like, 
it hurting throughout the day or feeling weird talking because it is really weird to talk with them especially as they get more uh res like more resistant yes more tighter my i can't really open my mouth as wide so it does become a little bit hard so i'm kind of glad that i just have to wear it at night but yes now i am up to i mean i really hope this is like the last level there is because they keep just getting tighter and tighter and my mouth is just sore so but like i said don't really complain because um it's just at night so my mouth is really just sore like in the morning when i wake up and try to eat a little bit but then it goes away throughout the day so that is another update you guys i am at a tighter wrist more resistant band but like i said it's not bad because i still only have to wear them at night so that still hasn't changed i really hope he doesn't tell me that i have to wear them throughout the day because i will literally like cry myself to sleep every day <laughs> more than i already do i mean i already cry myself to sleep on a daily basis but now i have another reason to cry myself to sleep you know okay so like i said um now this is my fourth fifth, yeah fourth ish month um i am in treatment for 18 months i think it says like about roughly a year and a half so i will be getting them off in april of 2023 right after my 26th birthday oh my gosh guys i'm so old so ever since i've gone i mean i think it's every four weeks that he has me come in i believe the more like i'm into my um in my treatment i think the less i have to go will probably be every other month that's what i remember i think it also could be because when i was first uh, when i first had braces when i was younger my ortho was pretty far he was in the city so he was like about 45 minutes or an hour from our house so we didn't really go like all like as frequently so i think maybe that's why but i still believe that um further your treatment you don't really have to see him monthly but i could be wrong i'm not 100 percent sure i don't quite remember uh because because this last time that i went like i said i just went in november and uh i went no no i lied i lied guys i went december I went December 2nd and I don't have to go till January 5th so this is this one did get pushed back I think a week or two more because typically he, like when he's done like reviewing me and everything then he'll tell like the assistant oh like um check up in like three weeks or four weeks and this time he said I believe five or six weeks but I think it was five weeks that he said so this last time he did push it back a little bit he was really happy with my prog progress as am I like I really um, like I did mention in my last video too, I'm getting more comfortable talking with the braces too and everything, uh, smiling I guess a little bit more. I definitely, definitely do see a difference uh, in my smile and my teeth. It just seems a little bit more straight and more even. Uh, so I'm really, really happy with my results. I'm really happy I went with Dr. Neil as well. Big shout out to Oakbrook Orthodontist and their treatment and um, their hospitality. They're like super, super friendly. I recommend, I would recommend them to anyone if you are looking to get, they offer all types of braces. So like the, uh, I think these are called the classic or original, whatever. And then they offer like the clear ones. They offer Invisalign. They offer this new one uh, that goes like in your mouth. So you don't see them unless like if you open your mouth, like they're like the inside of your teeth like inside of your mouth instead of the out outer part of it. so yes the, and the inner <clears throat> they're the inner side of your in the inner of your teeth instead of the outer side of your teeth if that makes sense <laughs> so the nurse the his assistant also did mention how they were gonna do a tighter wire i'm not really sure what that like meant um uh, because my teeth didn't really hurt this last time to be honest and i think i have mentioned in the past that typically every time that i've gone my mouth does hurt that first day even to second day i literally can't even bite into a sandwich like i don't know what it is because they don't they never tighten my band so um i remember when when i had braces before and if you have braces you know what i'm talking about there's the single bands that they put that i have and then there's when they tighten your bands is when they use one band that goes across <clears throat> your whole mouth well the whole like roll the your teeth of roll your roll of teeth <laughs> so i'll give you guys an example so let's just pretend these so you know how i okay so you guys know how i talked about like the color and all that how i had pink when i first started and then i had purple then i blue and all that okay 
Also, I got blue again. I did I didn't mention that I was gonna get blue, so just because they make my teeth look more white. So I did change my color. <laughs> I got blue again, and I think I'm gonna just stay with this color until <coughs> <coughs> I did mention in my last video how I wanted to go back to blue because I just liked how it made my teeth look more white. So I am back to blue, you guys, if you guys are curious. <laughs> I am back to blue and I love it. I'm going to stay with blue because that's just what I like. <laughs> but all right, so back to what I was saying about the band situation. So I've never heard about them using a tighter wire. I heard of them tightening your bands. So my bands, like the way it goes, right now it's the color blue, right? So they'll they'll grab like several ones so like let's just say these are like the bands that go in each individual bracket and when they tighten your bands they'll use one so it'll kind of look like this but it'll have like multiple ones and they'll stretch it so it'll start here and they'll stretch all the way across the other side of your mouth and then they just clip every single one so meaning they use one band with multiple ones in it from end to start that's when they tighten your bands and that does cause your mouth to hurt because it's really, really tight. Um, but right now they're still using individual bands, which that's why I never really understood why my teeth would always hurt after. So this time when she said, oh, uh, we're tightening your wire, I was, I was expecting it to like really hurt. And I'm like, oh my gosh, here we go. But I felt no pain. So, and I, like I said, I had never heard of them tightening your wire. I've heard of them tightening your bands, but... I haven't had that yet and i really don't want to that that is horrible i think that's the worst feeling ever um so i have tight wires but no tight bands i still have the single singular bands so i'm really happy about that and i'm really hoping they don't have to tighten my bands <laughs> all right guys so that i think sums up this update like i said my updates are not that like long like the videos won't be that long because they're quick updates they're just you know they're i think they're for reference for myself too like in the future and all that um on the progress but it's also for you guys to kind of expect certain things on your visits if you do plan on having braces you should plan on these things happening and if you're in your braces journey well i hope that we're going through the same things <laughs> but this i think sums up today's video um so we covered the tightening of the wire the change of the bottom wire my bands that are tighter and the color i changed the color back to blue and i think that's it i think that is it for today's video um i did get ready to make some tiktok so if you don't follow me on tiktok follow me on tiktok it is linked down below and I'll follow you back. <laughs> also, if you haven't heard my podcast, it is available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Anchor. So you can listen to Unleash Your Better Version. I just dropped a new episode last week. So I hope you guys really enjoy it. It meant a lot to me. Uh, I dedicate that one to my grandfather. May he rest in peace. And it just was really nice to be able to talk about him. Um, he passed away now. It'll be 10 years next year and he forever lives in my heart and i try to talk about him as much as possible because that's how i keep him alive besides carrying his last name in me which i'm so proud to carry his last name I'm so proud to be his granddaughter uh but that i really dedicated that podcast to him and it was also like just it really is so my podcast is really just about growth and growing you from difficult times and from times that we stumble that we fall but you have to get right back up and you have to learn a lesson from it. You just have to grow from it. I think everything that life throws at you is a lesson learned and it's definitely teaching you something. This year, let me tell you, a lot has been thrown at me and I have definitely learned a lot. Um, I like to say that I'm stronger, but I know emotionally I'm still very sensitive. I'm still that little girl that gets very hurt by a lot that people do to me. Um, whether it be words or actions and stuff like that, but this episode is not about that. If you really want to listen to my struggles and my everything that I've overcame, uh, go ahead and listen to me on 
Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or Anchor. Like I said, I list. I will link it down below. I also want to give you guys a huge, huge thank you for all my new subscribers. Welcome. I can't wait for you guys to follow me in this new journey. And then just a lot of different things that I have planned. Also, something amazing is happening in five weeks. So I can't wait to share you guys. I can't wait. I can't wait to share that with you guys. Um, it's been something that I've been looking forward to literally for like a year. So I can't wait for it to finally happen. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Again, don't forget to get, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next episode. I don't know what next episode will be, but it'll be fun because it's by me. So yeah. <laughs> Bye guys. I just realized I said episode instead of, wait, I just realized I said episode instead of video. So I don't know what next video will be, but it'll be fun. It'll be great. I don't know what my next podcast episode is either, but it'll be a good one. So tune into my podcast and tune in to my channel. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.